Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention please? This is Save the Mexican with games that are free for your phone or mobile. Today's game will be Hambo Begins, which makes me think that there might be more Hambo to be played. Starting off, little tap here. Press here to fire. Yeah, that seems simple enough. Ads. Shooting all pigs to clear the level. Good, good. Oh, they're getting a little creative with the, the curviness. First impressions over, here is Pig Rambo. Pig plus Rambo equals Hambo. And that's where we get this pig on pig violence. And we have little Rambo Piggy shooting at all these little soldiers with terrified looks on their faces as you point the gun at them. I have played a lot of these projectile puzzle games, so I was a bit skeptical at first thinking, you know, just here we go, here's another one. They're, they're always fun, but it really didn't seem original to me. But as I played this one, there are actually a lot of different ways to it that I haven't seen in any others. It's more dynamic in that you're moving your character, you have to move the enemies around in order to just take care of them. There's even a level to where you have to knock an enemy down into you so that he can knock you off of a platform in order to shoot at all the enemies that you can. And I thought that was really good and creative of them. And that definitely added a better aspect of originality to the game that made it stand out from other projectile puzzle games, which there are a lot of. A big plus is there are 42 levels in all. And each one is points based and will give you a rating in gold, silver, or bronze. There are also achievements throughout the game. Now this is a pretty simple game to play. It is a free game so you are going to run into these 10 second ads like this. But these are far and few in between and they're not too bad so don't worry about that. In this game there is a small variety of weapons. You switch between the pistol and the machine gun as seen here. The machine gun it adds a little different aspect in that... Once you fire, you slide your finger along and the bullets fly and you don't really have control over that. But they use that in very creative and fun ways also. I also like the music in this game. It's catchy, it's pleasant, and puts off a very positive vibe. Which is what I like to see from games because there's too much negativity out there. And I just want to be happy when I'm playing. Mind you, this is a very violent game so it could be seen in a negative light. But hey, shut up! Speaking to the complexity and difficulty of the game, you start to have a lot to deal with as you have to switch between pistol and machine gun in between levels and move around characters as well as yourself without killing yourself in the process. Overall, this is a great game with a good amount of content. Not a whole lot of replay value once you beat the entire game, but that's going to take some time. There are also microtransactions in the game. I've actually beat the game and you can't earn enough coins from beating the entire game alone. You'd have to watch some of those 15 second videos in order to get enough coins for some of these silly pig outfits, but not too inconvenient if you're like me and most of the time you're playing these games, you're on the toilet or trapped in an airport. To bring it all home, enjoy this story video of the game while I figure out a rating system. I'm giving this game 5 out of 5 stars for gameplay because of the creativity and the originality that they brought to the projectile puzzle games. I also give it a 5, a loose 5 out of 5 stars for graphics that I like the cartoon feel and that they didn't try to do too much with it. It's cartoonish, not realism, so I like the graphics. I give it a 4 stars for originality that it did bring those different dynamic aspects to the platform puzzle games and replay value I only give it two stars because once you beat the levels and you know what you're doing there's not much to it until you get all the achievements and I give it a 3.5 star for ads there are some of those 10 second ads throughout which you have to deal with but it's not too bad as always thanks for watching and don't forget to save the Mexican adios